Hello, everyone. Uh, happy Tuesday. So today we're going to explore um, some battles. You're also going to use uh, a reading strategy to read a social studies text. You're going to use the idea of thinking about cause and effect to read a social studies text. So um, just a little preview of that. I'm doing some cross-curricular work today. Uh, I'll be real honest here, and this is going to make everybody in the class who loves um, learning about battles and armies and weapons and strategizing and all those things, uh, that is my least favorite part of studying history. I'm not super into like war stuff. Uh, like the, I, I really actually am into war stuff, but I'm not into like the mechanisms of how the soldiers fought. It's never been my strength. Uh, but today we're, I'm actually gonna unsurprisingly turn a lot of that learning over to you so you guys can start to explore the battles. We will spend some time talking about the differences between the leaders of the Confederates Confederate Army and the leaders of the Union Army, and uh, some of the strengths and weaknesses of both those armies as well next week. But for, for today, I'm going to give you a timeline of major battles to allow you to per peruse that um, at your leisure and kind of familiarize yourself with the timeline of like when the, when the first shots were fired, when the war ended, names of the major battles. Some of them may ring a bell. I'm not totally sure, but at least you need to learn about them so that they ring a bell in the future when you're at a cocktail party and someone brings up the major battles of world of the civil war that will probably never happen but you never know uh and then i'm gonna have you really go and do a deep dive into fort sumner Sum, sumter i just want to add an n in there uh, and really look at the battle around that that's the first battle of the civil war so we're i'm giving you like a broad view i'm letting you look at like the whole war and the battles that were fought and the information about those so those of you who are super into the battles will want to spend a lot of time looking at that timeline and then we're going to dive deep into one battle and look specifically at the first battle of the war and then we'll come back and talk about the generals and the strengths and weaknesses of both uh, of both of the wars and kind of the way in which the wars were fought uh, next week. Um, of course, as you know, me into words and writing, I'm mostly interested in like the Gettysburg Address and the Emancipation Proclamation and the writing and the, um, you know, the sort of like, the, I've, I told you that idea of like there were, um, Confederate spies who went and spied uh, with the Union Army. I like all those sort of those aspects of of, um, of battle more. So we'll be talking about those as well. But I did want to get down into some of the nitty gritty of it. Uh, you may know that there's a lot of like Civil War reenactment clubs out there where people like dress up and like totally reenact the battles. Like this person stood on this hill and fired their shot at this time. And this garrison came up this side and this regiment came from over here and they were firing this and these people had cannons and that's not my jam. I don't, I don't know. I don't study all those things. Um, in that way. But if you are interested in that, that is where your interest in your research will really come in because there's a lot of stuff out there about it. So for today, explore Fort Sumner. There'll be uh, detailed instructions for what to do with the cause and effect sheet that is there. Uh, I would imagine that's something that we're going to come back to in small groups, not this week because they're all scheduled, but probably next week um, because it will be, it's a very good reading skill that I want to make sure that we get a chance to kind of clear up any misunderstandings about. So we'll be coming back to Fort Sumner, Sun, Sumter, Sumter, not Sumter. There is no N. Um, and then spend some time looking at the timeline. I just want you to get a sense of like how the flow of time of the war. So, so as we talk about the different some of the different battles, the, the generals, um, the armies, eventually the South um, losing, uh, that you have some sense of like the years and the months that it, that it took place in. So those two links are, are gonna be attached and there'll be a sheet to answer questions on, which will, will be a little bit time consuming. You're getting it on Tuesday. It's not due until Friday. And I do have 15 minutes of time built in still for Q&A at the start of every day, except for Thursday. Sorry, this is getting a little complicated, but you're watching this on Tuesday. So on Wednesday and on Friday, there's some time to come 
and ask questions if you're struggling with anything on this on this uh, cause and effect. I don't think it'll be overly hard, but you may have a few things you want to clear up with me. So those will be some opportunities to ask those questions before it's due. Obviously, if you're really struggling, send me an email. We can set up a time. We can talk through it. Um, but anyway, otherwise, you're going to learn about Fort and Sumner. Sumter. It's not Sumner. It's Sumter. And you're going to get a sense of the timeline of the battles to prepare us for talking about generals and strengths and weaknesses of both of the armies. Next week's, nope, tomorrow's mini lesson is going to be on writing. So we're going to um, talk about note taking. I told your parents in the newsletter uh, to download a Google extension, a Chrome extension called Liner, L-I-N-E-R. It's free if you, if you work within Chrome and this is something that's possible for you to do, please, uh, please download Liner onto your device for tomorrow's lesson. It will make it more smooth. Please don't freak out if you can't do it. It's totally fine and I'm gonna offer a lot of different options. So if you're not able to, it's fine. Totally fine, I promise. Sorry, I keep jostling this make you see sick. Um, okay, that's it. Enjoy uh, learning about the first battle of the Civil War. I will talk to you soon, guys.